Few can match Algron's devotion to working men and women, said Art Pulowski, the State Federation's Executive Secretary Treasurer. Driven by his passion for justice in the workplace, Al's career has been an inspiration for all of us. He has never backed down from a fight. Al Grun came into his teens during the Great Depression, where work was hard to find and the work that was available was without fair wages, job safety, and health benefits. At that time, various unions were forming and on the rise throughout the country, demanding fair treatment and rights for workers. He saw the value and became an advocate for union rights. So Algren started fighting early. He knew the value of political action. At the age of 17, even before he left high school, he campaigned for Franklin Roosevelt in his first run for presidency in 1932. Right out of high school, at the age of 19, he went to work for the Hammond Lumber Corporation in nearby Sonoma, Humboldt County and he quickly became a part of a strike against the Lumber Corporation's importance of the Redwood Forests that resulted in the death of three picketers. The strike was a life-changing event for him. Fired from his job, he would devote the rest of his days to the labor movement. After that experience, Al worked in construction as a member of Labor's Local 181 in Eureka and Local 139 in Santa Rosa. The Labor's Local groups are construction companies that give union workers jobs. He was a member of the Laborers' Union for more than six decades. For much of that time, he was a delegate to the Northern California District Council of Laborers and a member of its executive board. In 1937, he was elected secretary of the Central Labor Council of Humboldt and Del Norte counties at age 22. In 1944, as secretary, he founded the Northern California AFL Political League, and was Adlai Stevenson's delegate to the Democratic National Convention in 1956. Adlai was the United States Vice President at that time. He led the council until 1960, when he was elected President of the California Labor Federation. Five California governors appointed Grunt to a group of state boards, commissions, and task forces. Governors Earl Warren, Goodwin Knight, Edmund Pat Brown, George Duke Majin, and Jerry Brown called on him to take charge with the following issues air pollution, shoreline planning, recreation, fair housing, apprenticeship, employment training, and children and youth. Through his 36 years as president of the California Labor Federation, he worked with and advised U.S. Presidents Jack Kennedy, Jimmy Carter, Bill Clinton, Vice Presidents Walter Mondale, and Hubert Humphrey. He also worked with Hillary Clinton, Cesar Chavez, Ted Kennedy, and many others. Upon his death, Lee Pearson said, I had the privilege and honor of working with Brother Grun for many years in the state of California. He was a true unionist, a great labor leader, and will be sorely missed. But perhaps people best remember Al Grun for the way he ended his speeches with the lines expressing what he learned 64 years ago on the picket line in Eureka. In unity there is strength. United we stand, divided we fall. An injury to one is an injury to all.